Hey there, I just released a procedural noise pack for Blender 2.8, including these nine procedural noise textures that I found useful myself. In this video, I quickly go through them and show you what they can do. First of all, let me quickly show you how I can use them. You can just append this blend file, the links in the description to your project and go to the node tree and then append this node pack of E1.0. This will append all the noise textures at once. You should then make sure that you add it to the node tree and click this button to make it permanent. Okay, back to the blend file. At the bottom here, you can see the noise texture that's plugged in here in this reroute node. And on the top here, you can see a basic sphere with a bump map of the same noise texture. So let me just go through them one by one. First up, we have the noise two. I know the name sounds very generic, but it actually makes sense. Let me quickly explain what it does. We take a look inside, we can see that there's two noise textures and one controls the vector input of the second. For the parameters, we have, of course, the scale, but then also a scale ratio for the second noise texture. As you can see, it gives quite a different result when we change this. Then also we have the two detail parameters of the noise textures. As you can see, they do very different things. And then we have the distortion, which is actually the amount of the vector distortion of the second noise texture. So if I put it to zero, we just have the generic noise texture. I found the noise 2 texture to be extremely versatile and useful in different situations where you need a natural looking procedural noise texture. Okay, next up we have Crackle. It uses only one noise texture and combines the different RGB channels to, well, a different set of RGB channels. Of course, I can adjust the scale and the detail, but then I also have this range value. As you can see, it gives me a lot more contrast and structure. And if I put it down, I have this very smooth looking surface with only these little cracks in here. Pretty useful. Next up, Cranal. It's useful for situations where you need very tight creases either direction. I just adjust the values here so you can see what it looks like. Then dense. And yeah, that's basically just a few dents. Next up, we have dots. For situations where you might need some Swiss cheese. If I invert it here, yeah, we have the spread and also the count. The variation is just to give a little bit of variation in the depth of the dots. Next up, regular noise, which is pretty nice for any sort of situation or you just need a specific amount of detail and it doesn't really have that large of peaks and valleys, but it's really just very uniform, I want to say. 
they added a fixed range to get it into the zero to one interval. Then we have scratches. These aren't really that advanced, but still pretty useful, I think. The spread is basically the tightness of the scratches, but if you go to negative values, you get this sort of effect, which is interesting and might be useful in some situations, I don't know. And the ratio makes smaller, longer scratches, basically. Detail gets the more squiggly. Then we have streaks. The streaks are basically very similar to the dots, but stretched. They also have the same parameters, the count. And the variation. But then also the ratio. How much the streaks are supposed to be stretched. And if, if I go to the one, you can see. It's similar to the dots, not the same, but similar. And last up, we have the voxel noise, which is just very basic voxels. Just the scale as the parameter, but it gives different outputs. Like the well, voxelated position and then a vector within each voxel. Oh, sorry. Within each voxel from zero to one in each XYZ direction. Yeah, and that's all the noise textures for now. I might add some more. Feel free to let me know if you have some suggestions. I want to keep them very basic and not too advanced in this package. I'm going to use these textures in the future for tutorials and videos where I'm going to make some more advanced procedural textures. Yeah, I hope you find them useful and thanks for watching. See you then.